Hello and welcome back. And today, for this lesson, we want to model and solve applied problems involving right triangles. So let's look at a nice problem right here. A specially designed rain gutter is to be constructed out of aluminum sheets 24 inches wide, which that's equal to two feet. A contractor marked off eight inches from each uh, edge, each of the edges, and the sides are bent up at some angle theta. Now, we want to express the area A of the opening as a function of theta, and the hint is let B denote the vertical height of the, of the bend. So in B, find the area A opening for, and this is given, theta at 30 degrees, theta also at 45 degrees, theta at 60 degrees, and theta at 75 degrees, respectfully. Now, at the end, we want to show a graph. Uh, a is equal to A sub theta, and we want to find an angle that makes A the largest. Now, this bend, if you know anything about gutters, right, will allow most of the water to flow through the gutter. This is very important because you don't want any uh, building damage because water is, just settles on those areas. So this is why gutters are basically designed. So let's look at the figure right here. Of course, you have this sheet of aluminum that is uh, 24 inches wide here, and somehow the con you know the contractors want to 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 mark off uh, eight inches from the edge, as you see. Eight inches here, eight inches here, eight inches here. From here to here, from here to here, and also from here to here. Now, they want to bend it up at some angle theta. We don't know what it is uh, uh, yet, basically, which, what, what is going to be the most appropriate uh, angle to, to have maximum effectiveness of getting rid of the water. However, though, this is bent up. So we want to look at this. So it's bent up still eight inches. Eight inches, eight inches, forming uh, some nice triangles, forming two, con two congruent triangles and also a rectangle, respectively, if you see. Look at that very closely. Get a nice little shot of that. Now, we want to basically uh, analyze this first question here of the problem. So, the area of A of the opening is the sum of two congruent angles here. In here, two congruent, sorry, two congruent right triangles, right triangles. And these are congruent angles too as well, but we want to analyze the triangle. So we want to look at the triangles, uh, and, and of course, here's a redrawn triangle to show what's happening here, right? So basically here you have a hypotenuse side of, uh, of eight, of eight, right? Units eight, eight units. And then, of course, you got, of course, A. We don't know what A is, and we don't know what B is. So we have to find that. And so with doing this, you know, cosine theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So cosine theta is equal to A divided by, uh, divided by 8. So solving for A gives you, will give you, A is equal to what? Cosine 8 times cosine theta. You see that? A is equal to 8 times cosine theta. And we do the same thing for B because we don't know what B is either. So sine theta is equal to B uh, over 8, which is the uh, uh, opposite over the hypotenuse. So solving for B will give you B is equal to 8 times sine theta. Now, we want to find the area of the triangle, right? We want to find the area of the triangle. We all know what that is. One half. Uh, the base times the height. And so in this case, we're going to signify by a, by one half a times b because this is what we have displayed on the triangle, the right triangle. Now we're going to plug these things in. a is equal to 8 cosine theta, and b is also equal to uh, 8 sine theta. So we want to put that in, and of course, that simplifies to uh, 32 uh, cosine theta sine theta, right? We'll put the units in lastly at the very, very end of the problem. Uh, when we know that the you, uh, when you find the area of something, it's in square units. Remember that. 
So now listen. So the area of the two congruent triangles is we, we signify by triangle one and triangle two. We we'll, we can say that this is triangle one. This is triangle one. Subscripted. And this will be triangle what? Triangle number two. As a subscript there. Triangle one is a subscript. Triangle two. Those are added together, and when you add triangle one and triangle two together, both of them being 32 uh, areas, of being 32 uh, cosine theta, sine theta, right? So when you add those two, each of them being congruent, you add those two together, and you get 64 cosine theta, sine theta. Or you can say, uh, actually, more appropriately, it's better. Let's, let's do the sine theta, cosine theta. Let's do that. Sine theta, cosine theta. Right? And this will be sine theta, cosine. And this is fine. This is okay. It's no really big deal about that. We just want to keep them. I like to keep them in order like that. So, all right. So we see what we have here. We have we have both the triangle uh, areas. We add them together, and of course, I repeat it: 64 sine theta, and cosine theta. So let's continue the problem. Follow me, and I'll show you what I have on the board over here as well. Now, as we looked at and we found the two areas of the, of the congruent triangle and added them together, now we've got to consider the rectangle that's in between those two things, right? So the rectangle has a length of 8 inches and a height B. So its area, right, the area of the, of the rectangle in this, in this case will be 8B, which is actually the area is equal to the length times the width which is represented by area is equal to A times B, being that A is, is eight units, or in this case, eight inches, and then you have uh, B, which is eight sine theta. So plugging this in eight times, really the length times the width, or eight times B, you come up with 64 sine theta. Now, the area of the complete opening of this small project here. The area of this is if you go the area of the two triangles, right, plus the area of the what? The rectangle. Now, we do this by taking 64 sine theta cosine theta plus 64 sine theta. You see that? You see this? This is the uh, area of both of the triangles, and this is the area of the rectangle, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to do some factoring out right here, see? We're going to do some factoring out, because this is A, right? We're going to factor this out, and when we factor out, uh, which is the GCF, you remember that back in uh, uh, pre-algebra days, 64 sine theta is your GCF, so you pull that out, and of course, you assess what's in the middle there, right? So this will be cosine theta plus one, so 64 sine theta times cosine theta plus 1 for your area of the whole opening. Now, continuing on, let's evaluate this at each of these angles. Remember, theta equal to 30 degrees, theta equal to 45 degrees, and also theta equal to 60 degrees. And, oh, don't forget, we want theta equal to 75 degrees. So plugging these values in or these angles into the area, we get here, of course, we do, we do a little fancy uh, uh, simplifying here, cross-canceling, all the basics of mathematics, right? We'll give you 59.71 square inches. Now we want to make sure we keep, we want to put our units in. We always want to put our units in throughout, but here, you definitely, when you come to the final conclusions, you want to always put your units in. Never forget your units. Very important. The next one, you plug in 45 degrees, assess that this, is going to be 77.25 square inches. And when at 60 degrees, you're going to have 83.14 square inches. And also, 
At 75 degrees, you're going to have 77.82 square inches. Now, look at these very, very closely. Which has the maximum error? What, ma what, what area should be considered maximum will be considered for the design? If you look at here, 83.14 square inches has the maximum error because it's the largest area there, you see. Okay, follow me. Let's look at the graph. And that's basically looking at the graph. Let's go back to the question. C, right? Graphing A at A, um, at A sub theta, right? We want to find the angle theta that makes A the largest, right? That makes the area. A is the area. And this will bend, this bend, this bend, when you bend it, some angle theta, this will allow most of the water to flow through the gutters safely and save your house or your building. Looking at this, we see when we plug, when we, uh, plug the areas into the, to the formula over there, this is what we get on the graph. So when you take your trusty TI-83, uh, 84 graphing calculator, and you, and you plug the equation in, and plug in uh, for, for theta, 60 degrees, look what you get. You have a maximum of 83.14 square inches at 60 degrees. And this is what this looks like. Get a nice picture of that. And I've enjoyed this little talk. We will continue on with the lesson. And looking forward to seeing you real soon.